basically you're gonna be working with this. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mariel Hatter. My name is Mariel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I created these faux freckles using the Loving Tan Deluxe, Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I got it, I got it. The other day I noticed that a lot of my Instagram pictures where I'm wearing faux freckles get a lot of likes. I think people are just really into this faux freckle trend. I've been putting on faux freckles for a while now. I just didn't think like making a video about it would be such a big deal because I know everyone knows how to put on just, I don't know, brown eyeshadow as their freckles. But I tried this method which I don't know exactly where I got this idea from. I'm sure I saw someone do it or mention it. I just can't exactly remember who. But since I had the Lo is it Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, I thought I would try doing that technique on myself and it's pretty good. So I thought I would share it with you. Now this video is gonna be a little jumpy because I tried this a few days ago and I just kind of recorded what I was going through so it's gonna seem a little disjointed but overall I hope it just kind of shows you the process and you learn how to put on these faux freckles. Let's go backwards a little bit in time. Today is Monday. The first time I put on the fake tan faux freckles was on Thursday and here's a clip of that. This is what the freckles look like after I took off the Loving Tan. Next, you're gonna see a clip of me a few days after I put on the freckles. All right, so I've done a second pass of the uh, Loving Tan freckles and it looks way better. So I guess the first pass just kind of gives you a hint of freckles back then. You can reinforce it by just going over the freckles a second time. Next, you're gonna see a clip of today, which is Monday. I'm gonna show you how to actually put on the freckles, what you need, and the end result. The first thing you're gonna need is your Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I have this in medium. If you want darker freckles, go ahead and get the dark tanning mousse. Next, you're gonna need like a lid or a tin or a paper plate, a regular plate, whatever, something that you can just wash to put the mousse in. I have this little tin that I use to clean brushes and stuff, so I'm just gonna put the mousse there. And then you're gonna need a super tiny, tiny brush. You can use an eyeliner brush, but this is basically a craft brush. It's really inexpensive, and as you can see, the brush tip is super, super tiny. So all you're going to do is do half a pump of the mousse into the tin. So like, that much. Let the foam settle for a bit, just so the mousse kind of flattens out, and all you have left is the liquid. Basically, you're gonna be working with this. Next, just dip your brush into the liquid and start dotting. I'm gonna bring you in. Remember, freckles have really random patterns, so it doesn't need to be perfect, but you can go ahead and look up uh, pictures of people with freckles so you can kind of get an idea of how to place them on your face. I have a couple of natural freckles on my face that are bigger, and I like to enhance those, so that's the first thing I'm gonna touch up. <laughs> Now, these are actually pimple scars, so you can actually integrate them into your look. Now, see how dark the dots look? Don't be scared. It really ends up looking just like this. And then just apply wherever you want the freckles. And be sure to make some dots bigger than others, just so you have a variety in the pattern. And just something I noticed, the freckles that you draw closer to the skin around your eye are the ones that are going to disappear the fastest. And if you have big pores, the dots that you do on those pores will also disappear much faster. Alright, and there you go. This is what the freckles should look like 
after you painted them on. After you're done with the freckles, you just have to leave it on for two hours. And after that, just take a damp towel, run it across your face. You're gonna swipe off any excess uh, tanning mousse and you'll have the freckles left over. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off, put on a little bit of makeup and finish the video and also do the intro. Anyway, okay, you get the point. So there you go, that was the process of putting on the freckles. In case you're curious of what I'm wearing and what kind of helps the freckles show through, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I took my MOTD Mr. Handyman brush, a Cover FX Cover Click foundation slash concealer, and my Wet n Wild Mega Cushion foundation in nude beige. All I did was cover up some red spots. I kind of went around the freckles. It was really cool using this combo because I barely touched like the perimeter of my face with the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation and I took a little bit of the foundation with the brush around my nose and with the brush it kind of helped me get in between the freckles. I am loving this Mega Cushion Foundation for summer. It is so light. I'm recommending it to everyone. You're pretty much wearing next to nothing. You're just evening out your skin tone. The sponge is pretty cool. And just to compliment that, I use the concealer because right around my nose, um, I have a lot of redness and the cushion helped, but I needed a little bit more coverage. So that's why I used the concealer. On my lips, I took a little bit of the Pacifica Plushes Liquid Mineral Lipstick. I just concentrated that in the inner rim of my lips. And on the outer rim, I took the Glamour Dolls Lip Gloss in Naked Banana. On my cheeks, I have the Beloved Blossom Blush from Nabla. And for my highlight, I used the Pacifica Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strobe in Unicorn. And I topped that off with Jouer's Rose Quartz powder highlight and yeah that's kind of what helped me create this like very fresh faced freckly makeup look <laughs> all right so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed learning about this method in case you didn't know loving tan is an amazing cruelty free and vegan self tanning product if you follow anyone in the cruelty free beauty community you probably already know about this everyone talks about this everyone loves this it gives you a really gorgeous tan, it evens out your skin tone, it doesn't leave you looking orangey, it just gives you a really nice tan. I was kind of scared to go to the dark bronzer um, and I stuck to the medium for light to medium skin tones and it just gives me a lovely glow. I do not have an affiliate link or code but all of these other cruelty free vloggers do so look them up and yeah, okay. That is it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with a friend. I would really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video and until then, bye.